what's up y'all oh my goodness i feel like it's been forever since i had a chance to talk to you you know what i'm saying because i've been all around the world literally and some of it was for vacation most of it was for vacation after i came back from the tour i was on <laughs> And when I say the tour I was on, I'm talking about the dungeon tour. Okay, so vacation. So basically when the tour ended, I knew I only had a short period of time before we were supposed to start back taping for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, right? So I was like, every year I decide that, you know, I wanna try to do a vacation at the top of year before the, you know, taping really get started. But this year they had their bright idea to start taping early, but I had already spent my money for our tickets to go to Japan, honey. So I was like, eh, no, I'm still going on my trip. Basically what ended up happening was I only had like a day between getting off of the dungeon tour and Riley's trip to Japan. Guess what? That day I had started taping for Housewives immediately so i have not had a day off and what i mean i have not day, had a day off you say hey you know you went on vacation but vacation when you back back to back vacation and it's not always like a vacation but riley and i we had activity after activity after activity i had an action-packed japan korea trip plan for she and i basically riley loves Asian culture. So last year when Real Housewives of Atlanta went to Japan, she was like, you should have took me. You should have took me. And I said, okay, well, I'll take you and we'll do it for our next family trip. Me and Todd agreed. We were going to do Australia and Japan. That's where we we're going to take the family on our family trip. But then when it got closer to time for us to go ahead and get our tickets, he decided that he didn't want to go to Australia and he didn't want to go to Japan. But Riley, of course, still really wanted to go. So I'm like, I'm not gonna not take her because you decide at the last minute that you don't want to go. So he was like, he wanted to go somewhere hot and all this other kind of stuff, which, you know, I felt him on that now. I do, I would like to be out by somebody's pool. So I just said, okay, cool, well, whatever. Then I'll take the girls with me to Japan. He was like, why don't you and Riley, you know, y'all do a trip and me and Kayla do a trip. So both of our girls can feel like they are getting that one-on-one -on -one time still. Because, you know, we are a blend family and you know our girls were older when we got you know married we, it wasn't like we had little babies you know we had grown well not grown but big girls or whatever so they even though they are oh they were older when we met they still want their one-on-one -on -one time with each of us if you had years with your parent and then they get married you still sometimes want to just have that feeling of you and them I know some people don't seem like they really get that or understand that because as soon as I post a picture, everybody is under my comments. Not everybody, but there's some of you under my comments. Oh, why you didn't take Kayla on your trip? And it's like, first of all, y'all don't even know what we all had planned. Like we already planned this. Like our family, we already know what we doing. And y'all over here chiming in, being negative in my comments. Stop it with your judgments you don't know how to do a blended family or if you do you don't know how to do my blended family so go on back to your own comments with that so anyway what Todd and I decided to do was me and Riley we were gonna go on our trip to Japan and do all of that for a week and then we would come back home for a day in which I had to tape and then uh, the entire family all kids both Todd and I and my mom went to Cabo for a week. Also my friend Tan and my guy kids, all of them came along too. We went there for a week, just, you know, relaxed. That was fun. We left there, came home, had to take. Then immediately the next day we left again to go to New York and that was Father's Day weekend. So we spent Father's Day weekend in New York, but it's it was also Kayla's birthday weekend and Riley was being dropped off in New York for her internship. So it was a big weekend. And then from there, Kayla and Todd went on their own trip in Europe. So they went to London, Paris, and Amsterdam. Which if you follow him on social media or follow Kayla, I'm sure you saw their pictures. Back to my trip. <laughs> So the trip was great. Me and Riley, we had like, I had planned a whole bunch of activities because I felt like if you, 
If you've ever tried to do like a one-on-one -on -one trip with just you and your kid, the scary part about that is like, okay, will we survive? Cause you know, teenage girls, they be having attitudes. You know, sometimes they don't really even be wanting to talk to you. They be wanting to talk to their friends. So it's like, what are we gonna do when it's just the two of us and nobody around for a whole week? So I made sure, like I'm one of those type of people, like if I sit still in a one place for too long, I get bored. And if I get bored, then I'm ready to go. So I had to make sure that I did not get bored. Now the thing about that is Riley, she likes to chill. So I was moving her around so much. She was like, when are we gonna get to chill? Like you got me going from place to place to place to place. But in my opinion, I'm like, are we going all the way to Japan? We ain't going here to sit in our room. I'm sorry, honey. I'm not, this is a waste of energy and time. You can sit in your room at home in Atlanta. Some days I had three and four events planned. Like when I tell you we did Japan, honey, we did Japan. I mean, right off the plane, we had to change our clothes and get to the robot uh, restaurant. <laughs> I was so tired. I literally was on the front row of the show doing like this in the show, but I had to go see it. I mean, come on, you can't go to Japan and I go to the robot restaurant. Another thing that we did that was really cool. We learned, we took our personal sushi making class. Hey, this is Yoshimi. Did I say it right? Yeah. Oh, great. Um, Riley and I, we are taking, wait, I don't even know. We are taking a sushi class, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So she's teaching us a whole bunch of things. Are you ready, Riley? Yeah. <laughs> it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it was a young lady that um, we found. I thought it was really cool because like, if you go to another country, it, it, it's cool to take like a cooking class that will, you know, teach you how to cook something in their culture. And then we also did the thing that I really love. It was the Mari cart. which they used to be called Mario Bro Mario Kart, but they got sued by Mario Brothers, I heard. So it's just Mari Kart now. You get to dress up in all these costumes of characters and drive around the city in go-karts. And you get to see pretty much the entire major city. And it was fun. I mean, you do it for like two hours and you looking goofy as hell. We decided that we weren't just gonna stay in the city of Tokyo, so we basically flew to Kyoto for a day. No, no, excuse me. We took the bullet train to Kyoto for a day, which was pretty cool. If you ever decide to go, I would suggest that you have a small, like small bag just for that trip. We had our huge suitcase that we lugged on the train with us, took to Kyoto for one day, which really, if we would have had like a little carry-on, then we could just, took the carry on and left the big suitcase at the um at the hold in the other hotel we were staying at it's still in tokyo but we ain't do that you let me learn and then we also went to seoul korea for one day which was pretty cool um riley loved that you know walking down the street and you know you get to see the sights we did get a person to go with us as our guide so it was helpful to have somebody but it was really fun i think one of my favorite restaurants that i went to while i was out there was in kyoto it was like this um noodle place where it's like a bamboo pipe and they shoot noodles down the pipe and you have to catch them and put them on your plate now you do catch them with your chopsticks and somebody said to me isn't that not sanitary because like the people in front of you or behind you are dipping their chopsticks in the same water <laughs> Technically, but if you can help it, try to be on the front of your line. And I definitely would recommend the Mount Fuji, Mount Fuji Q land. It's like the roller coaster at the bottom of Mount Fuji. It is, they got some really great roller coasters in there. Now I'm a roller coaster person. I don't know about you, but if you're a roller coaster person, you need to go. They got a couple of them in there that are like, you have to put them on your list. You have to say you did it. You know what I mean? I don't want to keep just ranting and raving about my trip to Japan with Riley, but it was awesome. We had a great time. So, we finished makeup. And now we're about to get the kimono and the jewels. Riley, hmm? she clearly makes a better looking geisha than me. <laughs> <laughs> And then we had to come back home to kick it with the family and go on another trip, which was great. It was more of a relaxing because we didn't do as much. 
I gained like 10 pounds since the dungeon tour because all I did on my vacation was eat multiple times a day every day. And I don't even eat that much. And I was like, okay, I was just getting back fine. And then here I go eating every damn where. Japan eating every damn day all day. Cabo eating every day all day. To New York eating day. Eating every day all day. That was just too much. Todd and I have officially decided that we are not taking back to back vacations ever again. Um, yeah, like here's the thing. I'm not a great vacationer, okay? Um, I could do a few days, you know, a week maybe, but back to back vacations, I need a break between. My mind is all over the place. Like I really need to feel like I'm at home focusing. I feel like if I'm not at home and figuring things out, then things are falling apart in my mind, even though they're not. So now I feel like if I take a vacation, it has to be a week here, week there, back to back. Ugh. Unless I just have no other time to take it, then it just ain't gonna happen. So I'm very excited till I get home today. Mind you, I don't know when you're gonna see this tape. He'll probably already be home by the time this get posted, but I'm very happy that Todd and Kayla are both coming back home. Ace and I have been home by ourselves for the last few days. Ace and I have been getting along great. Now nah, it's cool. He and I could just do what we want to do. And it, it really is super chill when it's just the two of us and not a house full of people you know i don't want to say i didn't miss my husband because i did miss my husband but i enjoyed this little time <laughs> i enjoyed this little time that i had with just ace and i you know it was pretty cool so everything has been fine at the candy factory as far as i can tell when i got back um don juan probably is happier when we ain't around so he can do what he wants to do. He has the tendency to do what he wants to do a lot. I know this. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, but, but yeah, so here at the candy factory, he's been hold, holding things down. Now that I'm back home though, I am really thinking about what's my next move. Cause I can't sit too long. Like, okay, we finished that tour and the tour was amazing, okay? Like I had an awesome time. We're definitely adding some more dates, but I really feel like, okay, well, what's next? Like, what should I do next? You know, maybe you should chime in below and tell me what I should do next because I want to do some more really big, big things. I'm excited about what's going on with the restaurant. Um, I, I think I've already told you that we bought another property and we plan to do another restaurant in another area. Outside of that, like, I don't know, I'm getting jittery. Everybody wants a book about business. And then I'm like, okay, well, um, is that fun though? <laughs> everything is supposed to be fun I guess but you know then I get to thinking about the business about writing a book about a business like the question for me is okay if I do a book about business do I want to do the book through a major publishing house so that it can you know be pr promoted all around the world and do whatever whatever or do I want to self-publish my book so that I can make all the money from it and it may not have as big of a worldwide spread but I'll probably make more money. But to be honest with you, I don't wanna just do a, a book about business. I do wanna do a book about business, but then I also wanna do a fictional series that's more sexually riveting and spicy, you know? I don't know, I have so many ideas. It's like, I've been doing too much. That's the problem. I need to focus, I need to focus, focus, focus. I'm a dreamer who feels like I'm supposed to make every dream come to life. So guys, the next dream that I have that's coming to life. Like everybody's already heard, well, I don't know if everybody's heard, but a lot of people have, al have already heard about candy coated cosmetics. it a little bit ahead of time last year because you know people were like excited for me but then they didn't know how to get it because basically we started and tested candy coated cosmetics through my bedroom candy consultants so you could only get candy coated cosmetics if you knew a bedroom candy consultant or either yeah went to a bedroom candy party or something like that now um, our bedroom candy consultants 
We decided to make Bedroom Candy more of a lifestyle brand. With that being said, it can't just be adult products. So our consultants are able to sell the Bedroom Candy products or they can sell now the Bath and Body products and the makeup line, which is candy coated. I would highly suggest if you are trying to be your own boss that you look into becoming a bedroom candy consultant because the percentages that our consultants are able to make off of the products they, that they sell, nice. Okay, nice. I said I was gonna do a video just about that to give people more information. So I don't wanna go too far into it right now, but we're gonna do another video about it, breaking everything down right here on my YouTube page. Now we're making candy coated cosmetics available to the public. Um, I changed the packaging, we upgraded everything. It is an amazing line that I'm truly proud of. So I cannot wait. For you guys to see it but it's dropping this summer for you to get it direct i have a lot of other things that i don't even know if i'm ready to reveal yet so you just keep coming to candy online and i'll give you some more info soon um as far as i see a lot of people online talking about the house line yes i'm back it's quite interesting I can't tell y'all nothing. Of course, I can't tell you nothing. But I definitely feel like you will definitely be in tune to see what's happening. It's going to be good. Yeah, that's what I'm doing this summer. I'm right here taping with these crazy ladies as well as coming up with some more things to put on my plate to run myself crazy. All right. See you soon. Which of you follow him on social media or follow Kayla? I'm sure you saw their pictures. Now, I wonder if those same people that was under my comments talking trash about why I'm just on a picture of vacation with Riley. Do y'all go on their comments and ask them why they left Riley? <laughs> do y'all do that? Do y'all do that? Do y'all give them the third degree if y'all don't see me in their pictures? I, I don't understand why people do that. Like, that is so aggravating to me. I think some of y'all do not realize like, okay, yes, we are a blended family and whatever. But what you, I don't think you guys get is that Kayla is 23. She's not a kid. She's a grown adult. Yes, she's also my daughter too, but she's a grown adult. So she's not gonna be with us all the time. Every time we post in a picture or anytime we're doing anything, because guess what? She works. She has jobs. She likes to have fun with her friends. Don't be in my comments. One more time for those in the back who didn't hear me the first time. Don't be in my comments every time we post a picture and she not in the picture to be like, oh, you, I don't think you like her because she ain't in your picture. Get out of my comments with that crap. You are trying to cause negativity in my family. You are trying to put negative energy out there about my family to the world because you didn't see somebody in a picture and it pisses me off. You get blocked for that on my page, just FYI. Anyway, that was a rant, but I felt like y'all, some of y'all deserved that.